Hi, welcome back. Or if you're just joining, my name is Maya, and welcome to my channel, Cranley Place, where I'm focused on Hermes scarf style, knot tutorials, and more. It's that time of year again when some of next season's silk scarves are cropping up here and there on the Hermes Global websites. In this video, I'll cover more of the fall winter 2023 scarf designs I've seen and discuss what we know of them so far. Let's get started. Who doesn't love a good mosaic? I know I do. And of course, that's why this scarf from the men's collection caught my eye. It's a 65 centimeter cotton silk blend, which is a pretty interesting size and fabric blend I find suitable for summer, a lot like the 45 centimeters and the twillies. The center reveals figures from a 19th century painting by Alfred de Dreux called Duc Atelier Rome à la Tente, which was beloved by Emile Hermès, grandson of the house's founder. Ex libris is a Latin phrase for from the library of, and the design is so named because Emile Hermès was so fond of that painting that it became the basis for his personal library book plate. Then, fun fact, in 1950, the Hermes logo famously changed to feature the same horse, carriage, and groom as that original painting. At any rate, the center medallion on this design is encircled by carriages of the period, which you can make out through the mosaic pattern. So far, this is available in at least five colorways with contrasting hems. Here's a design I talked about a few weeks ago by Tong Ren. I think this is the first time the house has made a design available in four different formats in the same season. In this case, three in the women's collection, a 90 centimeter silk twill, a 45 centimeter, also silk twill, twilly, and then this one in the men's. Like the last scarf I just talked about, this is also a 65 centimeter, but a cashmere silk blend, which is a bit heavier. You're playing with less square area, but it's still a workable size, especially if you enjoy the 55 centimeter bandanas or even the 45 centimeter pocket squares in your scarf mix. So far, I've seen this in at least four colorways, all with contrast hems. This one is a reimagined version of a design by Kati Latam originally issued, I believe, in the early 1970s. Jeff Fisher, in contrast, is an Australian artist whose debut scarf with the house was from 2014. That one was called Le Ball des Oiseaux, or Bird's Ball. Now, this scarf's title literally translates to flowery brandeburgs, which are the ornate decorations you see on the jacket. And the flowers, of course, add a delicate contrast to the pomp of this military jacket. Yin and yang, you make the call. Now, this is a double face scarf, which, as you know, if you've been following my channel, I love. <laughs> so anyways, I, so far, I've seen this in two colorways, both of which have contrast hems. So I am definitely looking forward to seeing what else comes available. Visually, I am fascinated by this 100 centimeter cashmere by Virginie Jamin. At first glance, I thought it was some sort of samurai, but on closer inspection, there is a lot to unpack here. A collier de chien turned into a shoulder armor, a braided rope that turns out to be a snake, 
a horse doing a handstand on a motorcycle handle. The outward-facing bird heads interwoven with the inward-facing dragon heads. Then if you pull out for a more macro view, that looks like a cat face wearing a samurai helmet. So far, I've seen this in two colorways, and I'm quite interested to see what other combinations they'll offer. Again, this is from the men's collection. This next one is another 100 centimeter cashmere from the men's collection by a Polish artist called David Ryski, who I believe is a newcomer to the house. It focuses on the home stretch of a Grand Prix in which the vintage phaeton drawn by this thoroughbred has somehow pulled ahead for the win in front of this opponent in a state of the art race car. Only one colorway for this so far. Let's see what else turns up. This next one is from the women's collection. It's a giant triangle adaptation of a design from the fall winter 2021 season. The artist, and I'm not even going to try to say his name, but he was one of the Grand Prix du Carré Hermes winners in 2019. And the design is based on traditional tie weaving of dried water hyacinths that are used in things like baskets, hats, sandals, and animal shaped toys. Masan means woven horse in Thai, like these pictured on the scarf. Now this is a cashmere silk mix, which I like for how lightweight it feels while still giving some good coverage. I've seen this available so far in at least five colorways, all of which have contrast hems. Here's another cashmere silk giant triangle from the women's collection based on a design first issued as a 90 centimeter silk twill circa 2017. Architect, illustrator, and artist Nigel Peak has been working with the house for several years now, and if I'm not mistaken, his first scarf design was Promenade au Faubourg. But personally, the first one that I think I paid attention to was Chacun fait son in this design, the artist dreams of cities, conjuring up a dynamic and modern metropolis. The facades are windows, reflecting every possible color and inspired by the light breeze of a summer day. If you look closely, you'll see he's used a stippling effect to mimic the rhythmic rustling of trees. Anyways, so far, this one is showing in at least three colorways, again with contrast hems. Françoise de la Perrière is another of those enigmatic artists who worked with the house for decades. I believe her first Hermes scarf design was issued in the late 1950s, depicting the regions of France. This design, Les Voitures à Transformation, was first issued, I believe, in 1965. I count a later reissue as part of my Hermes collection. It was actually one of my early editions when I started collecting back in the day, acquired on what would become the first of many trips to Paris. This is such a classic Hermes design featuring vintage Phaeton open-air carriages, which were popular in the late 18th and early 19th centuries. Now, I've seen this giant triangle in at least four colorways so far, all of which also have these fabulous striped contrast hems. So there you have it. Four of the fall-winter 2023 scarves from Hermes that are starting to appear online. Please like and share the video if you enjoyed it and let me know what you think in the comments. In future episodes, I'll share other scarf reviews.
tutorials, and more, so be sure to hit that subscribe button to be notified of new videos. Thanks again for joining me today. Until next time!